Joe Williams, that's the first time I ever kissed a boy. Who's a boy? I'm a man. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake, Bernadine, dialogue. I can't help it, Paula. Look at this character. You look at him, Bernadine. We'll just ignore them, Nikki. I'd rather have a sailor's picture than all the growing pains around here put together. Paula's on a low float. Well, it's tough hitting the regular grind when you're thousands of miles apart. Janie, when two people are going steady, that means that, well, that, that they're going steady, doesn't it? Uh-huh. If they're going steady. Well, I'm going steady with you for the rest of my life. Cooper, you shouldn't say things like that. How do you know how you feel when you get old? You say three, four years from now. Well, I know how I'll feel then, from the way I feel now. How do you feel, Janie? Well, I, I feel like I'd like to feel in the way I feel now. Maybe it's the beast in me, Janie, but I've simply got to. Cheaper, say, what's the idea? Oh, just getting some pictures. You want to get your camera smashed? Take it easy. We were asked to take pictures. I asked them. How do you do? Oh. You what? Have you got holes in your head? Well, I'm tired of being called a droop date. And when these pictures of me and Merton come out in life, thank you. Come out in what? Life magazine. A special feature called Life Goes to a Blanket Party. Oh, great. It'll make a swell layout, kids. We're going to rush it through quick. They're going to be published? Sure they are. Thank you. Would you mind getting back to your blankets and weenie roast? We want to get a lot more pictures. This may help your love life, Bernadine, but when my family finds out, they'll practically leave me in a basket on somebody's doorstep. It's the worst thing that ever happened in this town. I'll say. I'm sorry. 